What's up guys, I'm Dustin and this is Tunes, Brews and Reviews. Today we've got another special guest taken by Canadians. Thanks for coming in guys, super appreciate it. Thanks for having us man. I, uh, uh, Mom over here, Mom hold uh, it down, alright alright. Um, I actually had just met you today but I have known these two for a while. Um, so if you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves to the people out there in uh, the lovely internet land. Cool, hi internet, my name is Ben and I'm in a band called Taken by Canadians. My name is Anna, and I am also in a band called Taken by Canadians. My name is Tristan, and I'm also in Taken by Canadians. <laughs> nice! So what do you guys, uh, what do you guys play? Uh, I play guitar and sing. Uh, she plays violin and keyboards and sings. Cool. And he plays the drums. Right on. All right. Yep. Sometimes? All the time? He plays it a lot. <laughs> like nice. Do you guys ever switch up instruments? No. No? Just solid on it, right on. Well, That's sometimes. She, she plays guitar. She sings a song and plays guitar. But then I just play guitar. So yeah, she, she switches. That's rad. Right on. Where'd you go, when did you guys form? Uh, about four years ago, maybe maybe more than that, in Carlsbad. Okay. Uh, Marco, who is our bass player, who's not here right now. Um, him and I met at the Royal Dive. Have you ever been to the Royal yeah, Dive? Yeah, out there. I'm just out of Regrettably. Yeah, yeah. We, we've all spent some time there. And uh, and Marco and I met when I was playing solo, and we decided to jam. And uh, we started a band. Cool. And Anna started showing up at our practices, and she knew all the songs. I basically forced my way into the band. Oh, right on. Okay. Super fan, gone artist. Seriously, yeah, she just like showed, that. up, That's right. showed up with her violin and like started singing and knowing, and I was like, I don't really know about this. And then uh, I think we like listened to Deer Tick together once or something, and I was like, all right, she's all right. She should, <laughs> she should be in the band. Nice. And then when did this lovely gentleman come along? Tristan joined us, uh, it's like a year ago now. Yeah, about right? a year ago. Oh, rad. Right. right on. Yeah, Tristan, Tristan, uh, definitely, uh, Change the game for us. That's having, cool. Having like a really fantastic drummer with us. So, yeah, super so welcome addition. Now it feels like a solid four piece. You know? Nice. So, you, that's, you have a total of four members? Yeah. Okay, cool, awesome. Well, you guys just had a show at the Cosbo, right? For your album release? Yeah. And uh, what was the name of that album? We Eat You Like a Person. It's a. Uh, it's the result of us recording for the past year and a half and um, different sound for us, like a lot bigger, more electric sound. And That's rad. Yeah, recorded at a place called Emerald Age Recording Studios in Vista. Okay. I'll definitely have to get my hands on that and get some of, that, some of you guys' songs on our show. I'd love to. Please. It's uh, definitely something we always need. We always need music. We need music. And if you guys want, you guys can go get that album. What, on iTunes, everywhere? Yeah, iTunes, Bandcamp, SoundCloud. Shows. Shows, we can give you a physical copy. Spin Records, go to Spin Records in Carlsbad. Okay. Spin Records or Loose Records. Uh, so all the local shops have them. Yeah. Cool, sweet. Well, you guys heard it for yourselves. Still in the community, still local, North County. Always Loose Records. Go on down there, grab a copy. It's, uh, that's crazy. That's so awesome to have you guys we'll here. Have to look into that, and we'll make sure we drop all the links in the description below so you guys can follow along. And make sure you guys check check out Taken by Canadians. I've actually uh, heard them prior myself. Great. Uh, I don't even know what to categorize you guys as. It's like, it's Wait. not. It's not. You can't just say like, oh, they're like rock. It's not. It's not rock. It's. I've been saying uh, creepy blues lately, or rock and roll for creeps. Rock and roll for creeps. Yeah. I like That's that. Accurate. I like it's that. It's kind of like weird rock and roll, it, but it's not like super weird, you know? It's just our particular brand of rock and roll and blues. That's awesome. And I'm, I'm a huge fan of blues uh, and, and soul music, actually. So for me, when I heard you guys, it was more like, I like this because it's not reggae, because we have so much reggae around North County all the time. But uh, it's like, I, I caught Tristan, I was like, Wait, what? Is Tristan plays in a band? I didn't even know about this. And that's when I started getting curious. And so I finally got you guys in here. Finally got the nitty gritty. 
And uh, thank you guys so much. Um, I, I do have one weird question for you guys. Um, and that was uh, something we were talking about earlier, this mescaline Mary. Uh, and I, I have to know the story, because I, I didn't want to ask it off camera. So I, I want to uh, know the story about this mescaline Mary. Mescaline Mary is our muse. And uh, we met her on tour in Arizona, in Phoenix. Uh -huh. And she's a young um, mescaline enthusiast. And she uh, she followed us around for a while and tried to get in our van and uh, like tried to force her way into our van. Oh my god! And I I think it was like our our good friend Amanda who was on tour with us who finally was like like grabbed her and was like you got to get the hell out of here. You know? Oh my it was god! Him. Oh, it's Ian from Ian, Huckleberry. Huckleberry, one of the other bands that we we played with out there. Finally, like told her that she seriously had to leave. But she was on her own like weird journey. Oh really? Oh, and, one of those. Uh, and since that moment we kinda like rearranged our inspirations and like why we play music together. It's nice. all pretty much centered around her like us realizing her. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I think I think I understand uh, I will understand. I'm not sure one that I, even, I don't even know if I understand. That's, a, that's okay. Basically, <laughs> basically, everything we've ever done before or since has been for her. Yeah. Yeah. She's it's all hail Masculine Mary. Yeah, Masculine Mary. Well, there you have it. Masculine Mary, wherever you are out there, hopefully you see this and uh, and hopefully don't ever try to <laughs> contact get in contact with them. <laughs> but if you want to, you can find them in the links below. <laughs> And you can also find the links to buy their music down below too, as well. So, uh, Mescal and Mary, please buy their album before you stock them, uh, because at least you're paying for them. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. And thank you for your support. That's crazy. So, uh, well, guys, thanks so much. Um, it, it's been it's been travels, that's for sure. We've had a lot of bands come through here lately, and it's nice to see something other than reggae music or reggae artists. I'm sorry. Uh, so. And if you guys ever have any other bands that are in the area that you guys are ever working with, then definitely send them our way. Thanks, guys. High Thanks, fives dude. all around. Thanks for having us. Eww. Stay tuned. Tunes, Brews, and Reviews. Subscribe. Check out Taken by Canadians. You can check out all of their goods in the description below and all the links. And uh, you guys have a peaceful day.